What's up guys, my name is Lee Scott and if you have any fear or anxiety about starting a business or if you have fear and anxiety in business in general and the decisions you have to make on a daily basis, you are not alone. Many people do not ever start a business because they are fearful or anxious about taking the risk, even paralyzed by fear and what might happen, meaning they never take the first step to achieving the life that they want and the life that they deserve. In this video, I'm going to reveal how you can overcome your fear of starting business, some other tips on handling bad business situations, and give you the tools you need to start your business today. So let's get right into the video. So the first thing then is don't care what people think. No matter what you do in life, when you put yourself out there to be judged, people are not going to like you and they're going to judge you about something. Some people are not going to like your business, they're not going to like your product and you will experience some form of negativity from some point in your business from narrow-minded people. Some of it will be coming from a place of jealousy as they don't have what it takes to start a business themselves or to bring a product or service to market just like you do. You just need to ignore these people and carry on with what you think is right. Then you can show everybody with your actions what you can do, then kill them with success. I can tell you nothing annoys your enemies more than having success. And number two, you don't have to go 100 mile an hour. In business, you don't have to go at breakneck speed when you start or even as you continue to build your business. Everybody thinks as soon as you start a business, you have to work 100 hour weeks and be constantly grinding. And that's just not true. If five hours a week is all you can spend on a business, then spend five hours. If you can do 10 hours, then do 10. Just do whatever you can do without burning yourself out. Obviously, the more time you can spend on a business to build it, the better. But any time you spend on taking the steps to start a business is better than doing nothing at all. Number three, you don't have to make millions to be a success. Making money is obviously the aim of any business when you start it and making millions is nice but you don't have to make millions to be a success in business. If you start a side hustle business which makes you an extra $500 a month then that's a massive success and don't let anybody tell you otherwise. Maybe that $500 pays for your rent every month, maybe it pays for your car or maybe it pays to put your children through college or university and that's a success in my eyes. Success is all about what you want the business to achieve, not the numbers or any sort of vanity metrics. If you set out in business to make a couple of hundred extra dollars a month and you hit it, you're a success. So don't let anybody tell you that you're not. Number four, anything worth doing has some element of risk. When you do anything worth doing in life, there's always an element of risk. Even just walking across the road is a risk where you might get hit by a bus. So don't look at taking a risk in business as anything negative. The thing to remember is, as long as it's a calculated risk and you don't bet the farm on a single idea, you should be okay. When I say bet the farm, I mean don't put everything you have into one business, as if that fails, you're left with nothing. So don't bet the farm. Approach starting a business and risk like they tell you to in investing. Only invest or take a risk with what you can afford to lose. And number five, we have fail your way to success. Many of the world's most successful leaders have failed at something during the building of their empires. I did this video on the biggest mistakes entrepreneurs make in business, but those mistakes don't have to be fatal to the business. You can make mistakes and still have a successful business. I still make mistakes every day. It's about learning from the mistakes and moving on. You'll learn more from your mistakes than you will ever learn from your successes, so fail your way to success. Take the lesson from the failure and move on. And number six, you don't need to be a business expert to start a business. A big misconception in business is that you need to be a business expert in order to start. You really don't, you just learn as you go. Don't be crippled by trying to learn everything in business before you start, as you will never start. Just start the business and learn as you go along. You never really know what you have to know until you have to know it. Then when it comes to that point, seek out the information, solve the problem and move on to the next one. In my videos on my channel, I'm trying to give you lessons I've learned in business so that you can learn from them without having to go through the pain yourself. If I can help you avoid a mistake, I really want to be able to do that. So smash that like button if you're with me and be sure to subscribe so you can get to where you want to be in business. Let me know what business you've started in the comments below and I'd love to know who's watching this video and what you're all doing to get into business. And number seven, we've got gut feelings. This is one point that's taken me a long time to really start embracing. Usually with the gut feeling in business, it's right, so go with it when you feel it. There have been a lot of studies done on this second brain in your gut, which we all know as a gut feeling. 
It's some kind of sixth sense which is right more often than not. There have been many instances I've gone against my gut feeling and I've just thought later I wish I'd have listened to that gut feeling. Take a moment to acknowledge it as it could help you steer clear of a situation which may go bad. And number eight, if you're not feeling some form of fear, you're playing it too safe. We as humans were designed with a fight or flight system given to us in the form of adrenaline. When a situation presents itself, we either stay and fight or we run away. And in business, every day you need to stay and fight, so you'll be feeling the fear and anxiety on a daily basis. You've just got to really learn how to live with it and control it. You need to keep doing things that are out of your comfort zone so that you can grow. And you need to experiment in business so the business can grow. Take some scary actions sometimes. It'll make you stronger and it'll make your business stronger too. Number nine, sleep on it. I've also started to embrace the sleep on it philosophy in business. Many times I've wanted to give a jerk reaction to something, like an email which winds me up the wrong way. Normally I would respond right back with a highly charged emotional response, which often would lead to a relationship breakdown. What I've learned to do now is if a situation presents itself which rubs me up the wrong way or is bad news or something, I take a moment, I take a breath, and then I sleep on it and respond to it the next day. You'll find that the situation calms down after you've slept on it and you can normally bring that situation back to the way you want it without all the emotional reaction attached. At number 10, we've got never give up. The key to having a successful business is to have perseverance and never give up. It'll get hard at times, but you just have to keep that laser focused and keep going. Believe me when I say there have been times that I've wanted to give it all up and go stacking shelves in Tesco or something because the stress was just getting on on top of me but I just never give up in business the hard times are the ones which help you learn the most about business and about yourself remember if it was easy everybody would be doing it business isn't meant to be easy just like anything in life worth having you've got to put in the hard work just keep persevering through thick and thin and you will come out the other end a better person and your business will be one step closer to success I'm here to help you, so if there's anything I can do for you, hit me up in the comments below and I'll do what I can to help. If this video has helped you overcome your fear of starting business and you want to get started right away, then watch this video where we walk you through the steps where you need to get your business started. Please don't forget to subscribe and if you've got any value out of this video, please hit the like button. Any business questions, as usual, drop them in the comments below and I'll try to answer every single one and I could even make a full video based on your question. Until the next one, I've been Lee Scott. Have a great week. YouTube thinks you might like these videos which will help your business on the road to success, so check them out.